Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday after the debate here, 30, 30, Feb, uh, 30 February, no, 30 September. Uh, media seems to think Biden uh, won. I obviously wasn't up for it. I don't care about two geriatric Muppets uh, shouting at each other. Uh, stocks are lower, obviously. Dollar yen lower. Looks like that's a Biden win based on generally accepted responses to um, where we are in this presidential race. Uh, so let's just take a look at things and see what we're going to focus on today. Yesterday we were focusing on that uh, long euro trade did get up to 55 overnight now back to 28 this will be support uh, between 80 and the figure now we do think the euro has turned a little bit choppy in the 80s yesterday but then once we got through 88 well we did do one more last time down to 82 um, but the chop zone was 80 90 this will now be support um, there will be bids waiting down there looking for core long uh, euro dollar swiss just kind of turned with the euro trade we all hate dollar swiss uh, dollar yen finally made a little move of course it had to go to 80 first right so that's actually decent if you're looking for downside dollar yen so any last uh, shorts may have been squeezed uh, weak hands may have been broken now um, four reds here it's only 30 points so let's not uh, you know tie our tits in a tizzy here but um, below 50 is kind of interesting in dollar yen we're going to use this line should bounce first time off of 33 uh, and this is sort of your your sleepy uptrend um, for the past week so back down through there is interesting to us 20 is really the uh, the big time bingo number that's when you can really sink your teeth into shorts only when we get through 20 dollars are just dicking around here um, down to 87 on like some idiotic price I don't understand that uh, but we do think with stocks off today, dollars are should zip higher. Uh, some of you want to try and scoop some of that up uh, sort of now or into the open type deal. Just looking at the spreads right now. Gee wee, it's wide. Um, it's wide pre-open, 200 wide. Uh, out in the supposedly very liquid institutional world Aussie um, not not a whole hell of a lot should turn with risk off uh, we obviously stretched way up way up to 50 I wouldn't chase this here um, this isn't like super chaseable sinking your teeth into euro Aussie longs makes a little bit more sense to me than just uh, smashing the Aussie bit here here's euro Aussie uh, the only reason we like this is we're just waiting for this. This is a nice technical level. There will be a lot of um, sort of pattern watchers, trade watchers, correlation watchers who are watching this. 165, 90, 90, 95. I don't know exactly the bingo number. Euro is a little bit sloppy like that, but definitely a level to be watched up there Aussie N same chart as Aussie uh, left hand side should be in play today Kiwi same dollar CAD uh, this could spook some people now right oil got crushed a lot of people are short dollar CAD Goldman and a lot of this sort of bank research is saying oh let's all be short dollar CAD
that just means to me, I don't really know where Dollar Cad's going, nor do I care, but, I mean, I care, but there will be stops above uh, this uh, 134.24, and so there should be some money to be made if we do trade that number. Um, if you want to fade those stops, there should be some a uh, little bit of fall up there is all I'm saying. Uh, obviously, our bias is we would be buyers up through there. That's how we trade. But um, whatever floats your boat. Let's see. Gold uh, bid. Had a hard time getting back on the gold horse after directionally being correct. But um, somehow, while I was trading, I cut off one of my testicles. And so that kind of was limping around a little bit after that. And uh, anyway, kind of missed this last sort of 15 bucks. But it's okay. We're going to do a little sideways, I think, and then continue higher in gold. Um, and here we are. Yes, for those of you who were uh, awake for this, it kind of did what we said on Twitter, a little squeeze up there to 58, and then uh, didn't get to 70, which was sort of the money shot um, short. We're square at the moment. Not going to chase this right out of the get-go, but... Um, just psychologically now, after the print at 03, 3300 is important. Probably sell this uh, between 20 and 30 uh, if you get a chance. ZB bounced a bit after dipping down to 24. Same strategy on this. Just chuck some offers in, right? Sort of 07, 17, try and buy 27s, 21s. We're not doing anything in a hurry in ZB. We are a little bit risk off, so this could easily just pop up through these tops here, but I don't think it's going anywhere super fast. Uh, and we just sell high ones, try and sell high ones every day and uh, try and take them back, uh, sort of adding to the ZB P&L. Um, so we can feel a little bit stronger about pushing the chips to the center when the time is right. The time is not today. This is not going to fall out of bed today. In fact, it's likely to squeeze higher, but we're still sellers. Um, just looking at this now, we'll probably sell 21s um, and figures, 178 to figures today as uh, just sort of lonely offers up there. Crude got smashed, bounced a bit. Um, no real clue on, on crude, gotta say. I mean, my bias is lower. Um, we're kind of, I mean, it was a smashy day yesterday, but we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. It just gets interesting to me, just chart wise, below 36. Um, crude, no, no clue. Let's take a look at the NASI. Looks like she's turning, but this could easily surprise. We are talking about the NASDAQ here, not, not S&Ps. Got to be real, real careful with this above 11.5, but does look like she's turning a bit. Didn't quite make that new high. I guess exactly the same chart as uh, S&P's. And now down through uh, 11,229. You might be feeling fine if you're short. Anyway, uh, risk off today just because of the Biden stuff. I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, But certainly the opening gambit in Euro in Europe for all of us who did not watch, who did not stay up, who are too old to be wasting our time at 3 a.m. Um, watching two retarded geriatrics shout at each other. The knee jerk will be to sell risk at the open here. Calendar wise, we do have some um, sterling stuff. We got some German retail sales. 
Sterling is final GDP, current account. Lagarde is on the turntable again. I don't know what she's going to say, but it won't be hawkish, that's for sure. So be careful of Lagarde. A lot of us are running longs here, so uh, just be aware she's speaking. We have Canadian GDP, uh, and then we have uh, U.S. U.S. final GDP. Oil inventories and more speakers. Kashkari, Bauman, to FOMC Muppets. Uh, a lot going on today in the calendar, but not really, not not really much important. Swiss KOF. A um, lot of lot of sort of minor releases today. So, little bumps in the road uh, is the best way to describe it. Focus uh, is now even though we're going against what we said yesterday of giving up on dollar yen we are going to focus on dollar yen downside today we'll try and pick up some euros uh, down near the figure um, and sell some risk just social amounts on ES don't really have a good feel for that at the moment it's missing the overnight session where a lot of action happened but I think we're going to sell some ES between 20 and 30 listen I've said enough uh, good luck Goodbye, hallelujah, amen, Jehovah, whatever. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.